Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out the Google Nexus Player again because they've just released a developer preview of Android M, which adds some num a number of useful features to the device. Uh, some of the things that it should have had from the get-go, uh, they finally put on here, which I think makes it more useful. So I'm going to show you the three big things that I've discovered with it so far. And if you have one of these, you might want to think about going through the effort of installing this preview. It's a little buggy, but I haven't really seen it uh, acting all that differently from the version that was running on here before. Uh, the big thing that you might really be interested in is that it now works with Bluetooth headphones. So you can uh, pair these up with your Nexus player, and when your headphones are on, it'll cut the audio to the television so you can listen privately. And if you've got people around you that don't want to be disturbed at night while you're watching YouTube or something, uh, that's a pretty useful feature. So that is now enabled. Uh, the other thing that's been uh, working better uh, is their live TV function here. So I'm going to scroll over to the live channels. I'll show you what this looks like on a, on a closer up shot here because I'm going to switch back out so I don't get into trouble with YouTube. So what this is, uh, is a way to uh, tune live television on this device. And it was one of the promises of uh, what you could do with the Nexus player. And it works with my HD Home Run, which is a, a digital cable tuning device. I've done a lot of videos on that, which I'll link to above. Uh, but basically, it takes my live cable legally, uh, puts it on my computer network so my devices can get access to it. And once you install uh, the HD Home Run app, uh, the Live Channels app becomes active, and it works kind of like you would expect it to. It tunes live television. Uh, still a little bit buggy at the moment, but uh, the big difference is, is that they now support MPEG-2 hardware decoding on the device. So before, I couldn't really tune my cable system all that well because of that issue, uh, but now I can. And what's neat about it is that it looks at all the last couple of channels that I was looking at uh, and tells me what's on that channel right now, which I thought was really neat. So I can very easily uh, see what's on. I can also get a full program guide too if I wish. So I can go over to the program guide here. And I guess what they're going to be doing soon is integrating uh, not only uh, the stuff off my cable system, but uh, things that you might be able to get on some of these live streaming services too. So there's a lot of uh, cool stuff that might be coming down the pike here. And this finally works, which is something it didn't really do before, which I was very happy with. It also will let that uh, TV show kind of run in the background of the menu system here while you're just uh, navigating around the system, which is uh, pretty cool too. So that was a nice new change there. Uh, the last thing that's pretty major is that you can now use external storage on here, which you couldn't really do before. So if you go into the settings uh, screen here, I'm going to take uh, out this uh, USB stick and plug it into this hub. This is an Ethernet uh, USB hub, so hopefully I'm not going to draw too much power out of it, but uh, I was able to get Ethernet working through here too, which has been great, especially for doing MPEG-2 uh, cable broadcasting. Uh, so I now have plugged this 16 gigabyte memory stick in. We're going to see if it is available on here. And there we go. We've got the Kingston. I can then tap on that and I can go and format it as device storage. So what this is going to do uh, is encrypt it so it can only work with this particular Nexus player. But when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and select this now. Uh, when it's done, I should be able to use this as uh, storage in addition to what's on the device. So we're going to let this format here for a second and then come back when it's done. All right, we are done and it is warning me that this device appears to be slow, but that's okay. We're just doing this for testing purposes. Uh, and now we'll see that we have uh, some available space on here. So I'm going to back out of here for a second. And I think what I should be able to do now uh, is go over to my apps and uh, actually move something over there. So let's take something like uh, Hulu Plus here and see what we might be able to do with this. So I can uh, go over to storage used perhaps and uh, maybe move this over. There we go. So I can select Kingston storage and now it's going to move that app uh, over to uh, this memory stick on here. I should note that I am connecting this uh, with an OTG cable. So I have it plugged into the micro USB port on the Nexus player. And then I've got the little USB Ethernet hub here connected to that. I would suggest probably for the best solution uh, would be to get like a powered USB hub and then plug in like an external hard drive into that. Uh, and what that'll do is give you a lot more available storage, which really makes this more much more useful as a gaming device because you'll have uh, t plenty of space now to install things and actually be able to use them. So this is great now that we can do this. I would imagine this will probably carry over into other Android devices too, but now we can open up Hulu Plus uh, running off of that memory stick now versus having to rely on just what was available on the internal storage. And that was a significant limitation of prior versions of Android, or at least the Lollipop version. I think the one before that was that you really couldn't do anything all that useful uh, off the external storage. And now we can, although I got to pay eight bucks a month for the, uh, the service here. So uh, those are the three big features that I saw. Uh, the MPEG hardware uh, decoding, which is now uh, really
really going to make this useful as a television tuner. Uh, the fact that you can use Bluetooth headphones and the external storage also uh, really adds a tremendous amount of functionality to a device that, while very nice and polished, really didn't feel like it was doing everything it could do. Uh, now it's a lot closer to that. So I'll put a link below as to how you can uh, go out and grab this and install it. Uh, it's, it's not too hard. It really shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. It's, it's really uh, not a very difficult process to go through. And once it's installed, uh, it's going to become a much more useful device. So this is Lon Seidman with the Nexus Player one more time. And thanks for watching.